Welcome to Wikipedia World. We're going to discuss today about placentation. First, let's define the word placentation. Placentation refers to the formation, type, and structure or arrangement of placentas. And also, the function of placentation is to transfer nutrients from maternal tissue to a growing embryo, and placentation is best known in pregnant female mammals, but also occur in other animals, egg yolk uh, placentation, and also include by its flowering plants. But this time, we're going to focus on the flowering plants placentation. Placentation in plants also in flowering plants, occurs when the ovules are attached inside the ovary and the ovules inside the flower's ovary, which later become the seeds inside a fruit, are attached via funiculi and the plant part equivalent to an umbilical cord. And the part of the ovary where the funiculus attaches is referred to as the placenta. We have the type for placentation. First, we have the marginal, and there is only one elongated placenta on one side of the ovary as ovules are attached at the fusion line of the carpal margins. This is conspicuous in legumes and simple carpal. And the ovule develops in rows near the margin on the Placenta form along the ventral suture. It occurs in monocarpillary and unilocular ovary as leguminous. This is the marginal placentation. The second type of placentation, we have the parental. Parental is the placentas are in the ovary while within a non-sectioned ovary compound carpal. And the placenta is formed by the swelling up of cohering margins and on the latter develop the ovules in rows. It occurs in bicarpillary or multicarpillary but unilocular ovary as such papervalency. For the image, we have here the parental placentation. The third one, we have the axial. Placentation. The ovary is sectioned by radical spokes with the placentas and separate locus and compound carpal. Also here, the placenta develop from the central axis which correspond to the confluent margins of carpals and it occur in bitumulticolocular ovary such as solanese mulberry. For the picture of axial placentation, we have this. Next type, we have the free central. The placentas are in central column within a non-section ovary compound carpal. Here, the placenta develops in the center of the ovary as prolongation of floral axis and the ovules are attached on this axis. It occurs in multicarpillary but unilocular ovary, such as primulicusis. For picture, we have here the free central placentation. The fifth type of placentation, we have the superficial or laminar. Here, the ovules develop over the entire inner surface of the carpals and it occurs in multicarpillary ovary. As for the picture, we have here the superficial or laminar placentation. For the sixth type of placentation, we have the basal. The placenta is at the base or in the bottom of the ovary and simple or compound carpal. The placenta develops directly on the thalamus, bare single ovule at the base of the unilocular ovary. For the picture, we have the basal placentation. So thank you for listening, Ethiopia World. This is Miss Kara, and hope you enjoy listening on my videos.